contractors, I think we can uh, probably all agree that they suck. And they're not very good at business. Most of them are just good at doing the work. Or customer service, I guess they're probably not very good at that either. But most contractors, if you hire them for something, they want you to pay them half up front. I never knew that if we ever use contractors. And here's why. There's no reason for us to pay or you. Then this goes if you're flipping houses, if you're remodeling your own house, this goes for anyone really that's using a contractor. There's no need to pay all that money up front. Right, let's say you got a $5,000 job. Let's say he's maybe doing your kitchen and he wants $2,500. Obviously it's not a $5,000 job if it's a contractor. Let's call it, let's do real numbers. A fifteen thousand, all right, twenty thousand dollar job to redo your kitchen. Okay, um, for him to start, he wants half the money up front. There's no reason you need to give him ten thousand dollars, right? What what's he need to buy? Cabinets, maybe. Okay, that's fine. That's like two three thousand dollars. What else does he need? Right? There's no actual need for the upfront payment unless he actually orders some sort of material. And if he does order some sort of material, he can have you, like, let's say he just orders everything at Home Depot. You can do a phone sale and you can pay for it, right? There's no need for you to give him money up front, right? And that's just how I do it. I, I've been screwed over by contractors before and I never pay. Um, and if they ask why, well, they're you just kind of got to ask him why, like, Hey, why, why do you need this much money up front? Like, what are you going to use it for? And he's like materials. Okay. There's no way that you're going to spend $10,000 on materials for you just to get started on redoing my kitchen. Right. So just kind of be super careful with that. And I always do it. I, I pay them as like works completed. Right. So let's just say they're redoing a kitchen. It cost me 20 grand, whatever, way too expensive, but let's just say that's what it is. Right. And the first thing they need to do is demo. Okay, so they need a dumpster. So a dumpster is going to cost three fifty to five hundred. Okay, you can pay for that. Usually, they, you don't even pay for the dumpster until it gets picked up. But let's just say you need to pay for that up front. That's fine. The dumpster gets to your house. They demo the kitchen. Then you can pay them. Right? You order the cabinets. You can pay the cabinet supplier. You can pay the granite guy. You can pay all that stuff separately. Um, just because I feel like if the way contractors are, they, they're not very good at scheduling, right? So they just overbook and overbook and overbook themselves. And then they're always going to go to the highest paying job. So if your kitchen, that's 20 grand and they have another kitchen, that's maybe 50 grand, they're going to be always going to that guy. That's his kitchen's 50 grand, right? They have no incentive to come back to you and work because that's usually how most contractors work. I know some contractors are going to freak out and be like, oh, that's not how I work. But honestly, let's just be real. 80%, probably 90% of contractors, that's how they work. They're not very <laughs> they're not very good at being good people person, right? And it goes with any industry as contracting for homes, right? Kitchens, bathrooms, hard floors, all that. But I've also worked with really great contractors, right? So that's kind of how it goes. But um, yeah, so I guess, like I said, this kind of goes for um, if you're remodeling your own house or if you have a rental that you're remodeling. Um, I'd never pay half up front. If they ask for half up front, I would ask them why they need half up front. And <clears throat> if they say it's materials, then be like, well, you just go to Home Depot, pick out your materials and I'll pay for them. If that's what you want to do, just because there's no reason to give someone, let's just say in this case, $10,000 and then you wait a month or two for them to start the work and then it ends up taking them four or five months, right? So just be super careful with that. That's kind of what I do. And I also make them give me a timeline of when things are going to be done. So that way, if they extend the timeline, they sign a contract saying that if they extend the timeline, then they lose X amount of dollars per day that it takes longer, right? And that kind of protects you to make sure that your project gets done in a timely fashion. So hope this video made sense. I feel like I kind of went all over the place, but hope it helped. Yeah, have a great day.